The number of restaurants for a thousand people is 4.2 in Fukuoka. That number is more than Singapore, LA, and Seoul. Not only that, but the area density of the Michelin star restaurant is higher than that of Tokyo, Paris, and New York. Fukuoka is described as follows the largest international city in Kyushu, foodie paradise. In today's video, I'm introducing four foodie spots which I highly recommend in Fukuoka city. This is the first one. Vina Bistro Asiatic located in Tianjin, where is the largest downtown area in Kyushu with high density of good restaurants. You might not be interested in Vietnam food in Japan, but you could enjoy locally grown fresh vegetables here. The owner, who is also a vegetable sommelier, carefully selects and purchases completely pesticide-free vegetables. As I waited, a beautiful salad came. To my surprise, the salad is for free, and if you follow its Instagram, another one for free for good. You could choose from two kinds of homemade salad dressings, which are seasoned with beets and Asian style. I think I'll go with this. It looks so colorful and beautiful. If you're a cilantro lover, you could ask some more for free. Every vegetables are tasting strong original flavor and really fresh and crisp. It seems like at least 8 kinds of vegetables. The beef dressing is really good. I like it. The daily special menu can enjoy seasonal ingredients such as clam, oyster, and fish. The soup is smooth, spiciness with green pepper, and the flavor and taste of coconut milk are also modest to let out finish all the soup. You could choose from regular noodle or brown rice noodle. They are made of only rice flour and salt. I'm happy to have another cilantro. The exterior looks like Showa vibe, yet stylish atmosphere. Good music, good coffee is the concept. Of course, the coffee is really good, but I also recommend you to try their ice cream. Their ice cream is so, so good. I even had another flavor yesterday. The homemade corn is like waffle cookies that taste buttery and savory. Gaga's main shop opened in 2013 in Agori City, specially instructed by the founder of Ichiran Ramen, Mrs. and Mr. Nakahara. 
due to elderly, they handed over to Mr. Yoshitomi, the current representative of Ichiran Ramen, put central kitchen metal in place. But it's sometimes said that the original Ichiran and the ones which are now expanding nationwide have different tastes. Mrs. and Mr. Nukuhara was involved in the establishment of two ramen shops and one of them is the Gaga I visited this time. The soup, which takes more than 20 hours to cook pork skulls from Kagoshima Prefecture, has a creamy, rich taste and no smell, and no chemical seasonings. The noodles are also homemade. It's also aged for a whole night in a room where the temperature and humidity are thoroughly controlled and served in the most edible state. It tastes amazing! The rice is a Hinohikari from Agori City and they polish the rice only a small amount that can be used up within a week. The rice really goes with the soup. By making the height 3 cm, we can eat in the best position without getting your hands tired. The Gaga's owner has been striking to serve a delicious ramen to people and respect the original recipe for Mrs. and Mr. Nakahara. This must be the authentic original place of Ichiran ramen. His willing is shown on its goodwill which are their names on it. There it is! It's like a hidden gem! Let's get inside. Firewood that shines brightly in the middle of the restaurant with steam lightning. A stylish and romantic atmosphere as if you were camping. Couch Camp is a popular restaurant where you can enjoy special meat dishes grilled with firewood. The appetizer is made of burdock in likeness of timber. Firewood originally contains about 20% of moisture, so it can be grilled without drying the ingredients. Today's specials are black beef and beef town from Kagoshima, boar from Toyama, and pork from Kumamoto Prefecture. While examining the chunks of brown meat prepared that day, tell the chef your favorite meat and the desired amount. The menus changes very often, not only meat, but also appetizers depending on seasons.
The owner is a well-known person among local meat enthusiasts. He even set up his own aging warehouse and made exquisite aged meat. The fire was made with four types of firewood, including oak tree and cherry blossoms. When it's cooked enough, bake it crispy over on an open fire. If you rest it for a while, it's done. The advantage of wool burning is that it can be grilled with the draining the moisture of the meat. This gives the steaks an incomparable elasticity and umami. When the chef cut it into two pieces, no juice comes out from the meat. It's a perfect look! It's a pork from Kumamoto Prefecture. The more I chew, the more umami spreads in my mouth. This is a black beef from Kagoshima Prefecture. It's so beautiful. And good aroma like woody smoking is also a big feature that charcoal fires don't have. Wow, I'm like in the cloud nine. Travelers from all over the world should come to Fukuoka and Kyushu in search of this gourmet experience. They are much cheaper than Tokyo or Kyoto. If you like this video, please hit a like button and subscribe my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.